Alright, so this is just a quick video to get you started with the um, bare basics of using Visible 2.1 in Live 9. So go to zealousy.com and download the latest version of Visible. Save it somewhere convenient on your hard drive and unzip it. Then in Live 9, in your browser pane, you can go to Add Folder, choose the um, folder that you just um, extracted. I've already got it here. So once you've done that, click on Visible and you'll be presented with this. So the Visible devices are organized into four folders. Almost all Visible devices are MIDI devices and so they need to be used on MIDI tracks. There are a few devices that are audio tracks and they're labeled as audio. Um, the four folders that Visible's um, organized into are input, which supplies source video, like the grabber, which gets your webcam, the clip player or the rack player that play video, um, MIDI bar and MIDI grid, and a few of the other devices create video in response to MIDI, MIDI and audio information. The effects folder has a selection of effects that you can apply to any of your source videos or create chains of effects. The mix folder um, has different ways of combining two or more videos um, and the output contains Scythe Out which is a siphon output for Mac OS X. The most important module in Visible is the viewer um, to make any of the other objects work, you need a viewer, and every live set that um, you use Visible in needs one and exactly one viewer. To, so to build the set, I'm going to start by dragging in my viewer. The viewer gives me this window, which all our video will be output to. It lets me change the resolution of that window and you can drag this window to a projector or a second monitor and um, send it full screen. It also lets you open this preview window so if you have video going out to a projector and you can't see the screen, you can see what's going on in this preview window. Okay, to get something going into my viewer, I'm going to go to input and I'm going to select grabber and I'm going to drag my grabber in front of my viewer. And there's my webcam. Um, video is passed from left to right just as you'd expect, just like any audio or MIDI device. So to make this video more interesting, we might add an effect like a blur. And now this effect is being applied to my webcam. So new in version 2.1, all of the devices have this little number here, which is the device's ID. Any devices that um, can receive video will have this drop-down menu, um, which lists all of the available um, visible devices in the set. So you can pull video from any other device, which lets you move video from one track to another track. For example, I'm going to put a fisheye on this second MIDI track, and I'm going to select blur and this fisheye effect is now receiving the video from this blur device. Also new in version 2.1 is the copy and paste function. The paste function is here in the drop down menu and to copy a device and paste its location you simply click on its ID and that will copy its location and then if we want to send that video to another device like the viewer here we can click paste. So this viewer is now receiving video from my fisheye. So that's the absolute bare basics of getting started with Visible. Hopefully that's a start for you to get exploring. Thanks for watching, have fun!